Hello everyone, welcome back to Aspen Tech Channel. So in our today's video, we are going to talk about two aspects. Number one is related to the delta T minimum for various processes and number two, the threshold problem. So in our first objective, which is related to the delta T minimum of various processes, I have chosen Aspen Hysis to depict the value of various processes. So what you need to do, you need to come to this energy analysis. And then in energy analysis, you have to see the process type that whichever process in which you are interested, you have to select that process. And for the particular process, by clicking on customize, you can see the acceptable approach temperature limit. For example, if I say that it's a crude unit, you can see the typical range for crude unit. The value of approach temperature is 10 to 25 degrees centigrade. Similarly, if you want to know for the vacuum unit, this value may vary to 20 to 30. So if you remember our previous exercise in which we had discussed a chart, a graph, which is this one. So you can see that we had selected the range of 10 to 20 degree centigrade, but that is not always true. It varies from process to process. Like in the vacuum unit, this value goes from 20 to 30 degree centigrade. While in the crude unit, that value was between 10 to 25 degrees centigrade. Similarly, if you see FCC unit, this value may vary to 30 to 40 degrees centigrade. And for naphtha reformer, for naphtha hydro treater, gas oil hydro treater, residual hydro treater, these are all same. Or I can say these are all of same classifications. So that's why the approach range is from 30 to 40 degrees centigrade. For oil and gas upstream like oil and gas, gas processes, the value is between 15 to 20 degrees centigrade. For hydrogen plants, where hydrogen is produced, the range is 20 to 30 degrees centigrade. For petrochemicals, the range is 10 to 20 degrees centigrade. For chemical system, again 10 to degrees centigrade. And for low temperature processes, where the system is operated below ambient, like for air separation unit, which is a cryogenic separation process. So, for the low temperature process, this range can go to 3 to 5 degrees centigrade. Like when you are at ambient or near the ambient conditions, means above the ambient, then the range is between 10 to 20 degrees centigrade. When you go more than am above ambient, like 100 degrees centigrade, 200 degrees centigrade, then the range may goes to like 20 plus. And as you can see for hydro data system where the high temperatures are employed, this range can even go to 30 to 40 degrees centigrade. So this value of delta T minimum is dependent on the process. Like we have discussed that graph that again, the factors which we have discussed will be included. And what were those factors? The utilities, the exchanger area, the total area and total cost. So in those cases, in those processes, this curve will be a bit different. While for so simpler plants where the range is between 10 to 20 degrees centigrade, this will be followed and for the low temperature process again the configurations will change so that's the first part of our day's activity so now we are moving to our second part of this problem and what was the problem that threshold problem now what is the threshold problem so far we have discussed the pinched system the system in which at a certain value of delta t minimum would divide the overall system into two conditions above pitch and below pinch for above pinch, we needed some utility. For below pinch, we needed some utility. For above pinch, hot utility was needed. For below pinch, cold utility was needed. But that is not true always. Like if we decrease the value of delta T minimum, like if you remember our previous lecture, I will give its link in the description. When the value of delta T minimum was reduced to zero, which has led to the infinite capital cost, the demand of heating and cooling utilities remains same, like 50 kilowatt. It will not be zero, but that is not true. Like if you reduce the delta T minimum for all the cases which we have discussed so far, you will find a system in which at a certain value of delta T minimum reduction, you will find that one utility has become zero. So that is where we call the system is threshold system. Like you can see, this is a representation of a system. Delta T minimum global is at X axis, minimum utility requirement at Y axis. And you can see with when you have started at delta T minimum of 50 degrees centigrade, the requirements were high. And obviously that is our concept that with the increase in delta T minimum, the utilities consumption will increase. But as you are coming down, coming down to like 20 degrees centigrade has reduced, coming down to 10 further reduced, 
but as you can see at this point this is a point at which this value the dotted line the dotted line which is the hot utility dotted line represents the hot utility it has become zero and this is the point where we call it as a threshold system that this is the delta t minimum at which the system has turned from pinched this is the pinch system above pinch below pinch but this is the point at which the system has turned to threshold system what is a threshold system in which one utility requirement becomes zero and as you can see the other utility requirement which is the cold utility requirement in this case has become constant so that is the overall scheme of this threshold system now if you take a delta t minimum of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 like we say this one is 8 for example or 7 before 7 like in the range of 0 to 7 the delta t minimum has no effect on the utility requirement the utility requirement will remain the same but once you move to that point like come here then the requirements will vary with the manipulation of delta t minimum so this is what we call it as a threshold system and this is the overall representation of it the value of delta t minimum at which one utility target falls to zero is termed as delta t threshold like if you are asked you are given a system and you are asked to calculate the delta t threshold so this delta t threshold corresponds to that temperature at which the one utility requirement becomes zero and the other utility becomes constant and it is obvious that one utility is zero then the other will be constant as you can see in this graph as well if the composite curves are shifted together reducing the delta t minimum further this does not cause a further change in the utilities requirement the utility won't change after that and one more thing there is no above and below pitch in the system you are free to go you do not have to divide the system in above and below pitch because there is no pitch temperature existence in the threshold problem so comparatively it looks like much easier configuration but that is not true always like you have been given this system that the hot stream is entering at 100 degree centigrade leaving at 40 degree centigrade with a heat load of 12 kilowatt and cold stream entering at 10 degree centigrade leaving at 150 degree centigrade and a heat load of 42 kilowatt and as you can see for a value of delta t minimum is equal to 10 hot utility is 30 kilowatt cold utility is zero kilowatt you can also solve it yourself as well but once you have taken the temperature to 30 degree centigrade it remains zero the cold utility requirement is zero it means till 30 degree centigrade the system is at threshold but once you have crossed this 30 degree centigrade the cold utility requirement is non-zero so it means we can say that the delta t threshold is 30 degree centigrade at which the system has turned to the threshold so that's all from today's lecture in the next lecture we will solve a threshold system in Aspen energy analyzer thank you for tuning in if you have not subscribed yet please do subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you never miss any update related to this channel thank you so much